Right, better turn this down, eh? Oh, yeah, I'm getting it on. I'm getting it on. <laughs> oh, I'm getting it on with a, a singer-songwriter who must be knocking on for 80. I think I've just spoken to him. I think. <laughs> it sounded like him. He was quite vague. I ordered £76 worth of CDs from, the, from this chap. Here he is. Oh, I'm going to regret where I can't get a proper angle. Look, I'm really, really showing my bad side. I've got glasses on. I've not got any makeup on. I've got one of my oldest tops on. But you don't mind, do you? This is Johnny Coppin. Mm. Ooh, there we are. There we are there. Get Lucky, this album's called. Yes, I'm listening to this on a record, folks. They're back in fashion. What year is this? It's an 80s one. 82, 1982. So I discovered Johnny fairly recently um, because he covered a Clifford T. Ward song, another sort of artist who I discovered last year, I think Clifford was. Um, too late for Clifford because he's no longer with us, but Johnny is still going strong. But as far as I, as far as I can tell, I did speak to him. Um, he wasn't very enthusiastic. I'm gonna have to change my doodah. He did sound like a disgruntled employee, but I'm pretty sure I've seen him talking um, on a few interviews, and it, I'm sure it's him. It's, I'm sure it's his personal phone number. His website's a little bit basic. You have to fill in an order form, print out an order form and fill it in and post it, or phone up, so I thought I'll phone. So I ordered uh, is it six CDs from him, managed to get all my details, so fingers crossed they'll arrive. But it was like, oh, well, thanks for your order. And I thought, if it was him, I was, you know, I was all ready to get into a conversation. I was going to say how I got to find out about him. And, you know, I've just bought six of his CDs in one sitting, so to speak. <laughs> it was surreal. It was just like, oh, yeah. Which ones do you want? And then he started going on about postage. Um, oh, the postage has gone up. And I quoted him all the prices, um, which were on his website. And he thought one was wrong. I said, well, it's 12 95 on your website, not 14 So anyway, I'm hoping I'm going get, to get them in time because I'm uh, really enjoying a bit of Johnny. Barbara's, um, I'm waiting for a new, new CD off Barbara. Well, two, Barbara Dixon. Oh, she's um, she's got um, a deluxe version of her best-selling gold album, which features the number one. I know him so well. So she's been releasing these um, deluxe special editions for a while, and normally there's loads more. They're normally double albums, and there's extra tracks. So there's 13 tracks on the official gold album, and then another. Um, album another CD with it another 13 tracks from about that same period and I ordered mine first thing when it was launched and so I've probably got one of the signed cards there's only 400 of these CDs produced so I bought two of them because I like to have one in stock and one to play and also bought her latest CD is a, a live recording of her last final big band tour which I attended front row seats so I'm waiting for that. There's been some problem with the printing of the uh, inlays. There's been an error, so they're having to reprint. So I won't be getting that for a while. Just come back off holiday last week in Whitby. I might be putting up some videos about that. So it's just a normal dull Tuesday. I don't know what the date is. Let me just check my iPad. It's Tuesday the 24th of September, two minutes to 12 p.m. I'm going to show you what I'm doing because this is real life. I'm not an influencer. I, I can't sort of show show all the pretty things because that isn't true. I'd love to be able to one day. Let's just change me what's it. I'd love to be able to show you one day just sort of prancing around my elegant, super tidy house, just fluffing up my pillows 
arranging flowers, baking fresh bread and cakes, and you know, oh, but no, that's not me, and that's never been me, as I found out when I've looked back at some of my old as seen on TV videos. It's a constant struggle, struggle, struggle. It's a constant struggle with mess. And, you know, getting the storage unit I thought would help, it hasn't really. <laughs> Mark has a desk back in the office now, but, oh, it's so disheartening trying to sort out all this stuff. I'll show you what I mean. This is my bedroom. So it's not really set up for relaxation and sleep. It's not a haven away from the cluttered, busy, noisy world. <laughs> I don't get any escape. Although I don't have any trouble sleeping. You know, when I go to bed, uh, this will be tidy at bedtime, but normally there are things on the bed. So what I do to sort of push them on the floor and get into bed and within five or ten minutes I'm fast asleep. So it doesn't matter what the surroundings are because I have my eyes closed. So anyway, I'm, um, say I'm spinning a disc. I'm spinning a disc at the moment because you can't buy this particular um, record on CD. A lot of the tracks I think will be available. So yeah, this is, this is what I live in, you know. <laughs> downstairs isn't bad, you know, I keep downstairs tidy, it's just my room. I've just got all this washing that needs putting away in my wardrobe. I need to sort out my clothes again. I don't know, I went through this phase of buying these really, really, really skinny jeans and they look ridiculous on a man of my age. Um, so I'm gonna have to try on, now those, they need ironing, look at those. These are all right, these are Wranglers. Um, but there's some that are just, I'm thinking, what was I thinking of? So I'm just gonna try on all my jeans and uh, discard, well not discard, they go to charity shop. Because it's autumn now, it's officially autumn. I gave away to Mark my Teddy Fleece Mattress Enhancer for some reason. But I'm feeling in the sort of cozying up type of mood now I'm, I'm getting to that stage where i'm looking forward to cold i hope we have a well i hope we have a cold winter because i like being snug under you know fleeces and you know thicker duvets i hope it's not cold for the pensioners who are having their little um heating allowance taken snatched snatched from them this winter by the current government so for those people who can't afford to have the heating on, the elderly, etc., um, then I hope it's not cold for them. But um, we don't know what the weather's... Normally our winters are just sort of dank and dull and misty and foggy um, and not always too cold. I like a crisp, sunny winter's day where it's very cold, but you still feel the heat of the sun on your face where you're all... And you're all bundled up you know in your your big coat and your gloves etc anyway so um, because I gave one gave it to Mark I've, I've got another one delivered an m &S. it's reversible actually so I could have it on the other side so anyway I've laid it out in his bed just to uh, you know before I change I'm not gonna I don't think I'll change well I'm gonna have to change my bedding aren't I if I put on new uh, if I put that on, I can't put a dirty, well, they're not dirty, but I can't put a not fresh sheet over that. So I probably won't use that. To, it's, it's not cold enough yet. Here's where here's Johnny. Anyway, here's Johnny. I don't think he looks quite like that now. But anyway, look him up, Johnny Coppin. There's not much to listen to on YouTube. So, yeah, I bought uh, some of his compact disc devices. So... Hopefully they'll arrive. <laughs> um, I hopefully got all my details down. Oh dear. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the actual. What, who I mean, really? You can't. You couldn't expect to ring up that Taylor Swift and say I'd like to order, and it's her on the phone, could you? Not that I would ever want to ring up her. A friend of me asked over lunch in a cafe, "What do you think of Taylor Swift?" And I said, "I can't stand thee." Biatch. <laughs> I've ne I couldn't name a single Taylor Swift song. 
Uh, I'm glad I don't like the the most popular band I like. Obviously, is ABBA, and I do like other stuff. I do have a lot of CDs, but you know the 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 bands I like best are very obscure. I mean, Barbara Dixon's not so obscure, but John, who's heard of Johnny Coppin? Watching this video, I'd never heard of him until a few weeks ago. Even Clifford T. Ward. I mean. <sighs> I think these people, I mean, because Johnny hasn't sold his soul to the devil, I think if they get, I hope ABBA haven't, I hope they're an exception, but most of these big artists, especially American ones, I think have done a little bit of a deal with the devil. Um, and that's why they've got the success now, but that success won't, <laughs> it's fleeting. Fame and fortune is not worth having in this world, I'll tell you now, folks. If it means damnation for all eternity, which I do believe. So Madonna was okay at first. I liked, I didn't mind Madonna. I wasn't a fan. I didn't mind her. But I don't know what that thing parading itself around sta the stage that calls itself Madonna. I might, I might have a few friends of Dorothy watching this who love Madonna. So, well, you carry on loving. That's all I say. But you get disappointed with folk. I just watched a documentary about Ellen, Ellen DeGeneres, or now they call her Ellen Degenerate, cancelled because of um, alleged or possibly proven ill treatment of her staff. But I used to love the Ellen sitcom back in the day, in the 90s, was it? Um, when I went to Florida to uh, one of the theme parks, it wasn't the Disney one, it was, might be Paramount Studios, they had an Ellen by the book shop set up like her books shop you know um so i loved ellen back then well i didn't love her but i did like that sitcom but i can't you know now that things have come out about her it's it's soiled my view of her and there's things i can't listen to anymore and there's things i can't watch anymore and can't enjoy because things have come out about the people and i really hate them for doing it i hate her well, I don't hate her. I don't know her, but I hate the fact that some of my experiences, my childhood, my youth, some of my likes are now sullied by things that have been revealed. And I have no trouble in removing that sort of thing from my life. You know, it would be such a blow if ABBA all turn out to be baby-eating Satanists. I'd hate that because they have been such a such a big part of my life growing up now and forever I'm sure I love ABBA the music so to find out anything really bad about them it would be an it would devastate me beyond belief so sometimes it's I'm glad when I find an artist I like and I've discovered they've died because then that's it that's their part they can't really although something could come up you know after they've died as with jimmy savile but you know i'm i'm getting in the christmas mood i i don't I, well i tend to buy a couple of things every christmas um i saw this at Focus. fuck us are you going to fuck us oh that's better oh that looks good look it's quite nice that isn't it I mean, it's probably made by a five-year-old under slave conditions in China, but it's a nice little daxi with a Christmas jumper on. So um, that's for my tree. I don't need any other ornaments, but I saw I needed to build... You see, because I bought that from m and you have to spend £60 now for free delivery. So I got that. I also bought a brushed cotton fitted sheet for winter. And to make up the money, I bought two Christmas ornaments. I think this is a fiver. Yeah, five pounds. Oh, fuck us. So there's a little, little daxi for my tree. I normally buy a daxi. I've got quite a few on my tree. And then I bought another little ornament, which is quite retro. It's still in its thing. Uh, that's, a, that's a record vacuum cleaner, if you're wondering. It does, it does stop the snap, crackle and pop. This is shedding black glitter. 
Anyway, I saw this and thought, oh, I like that. It's very retro, very 80s. It'd be nice to have an 80s themed tree. This again was five quid. It's bigger than I thought it would be. Look. Can we get a good shot of that? It's a ghetto blaster boom box. It's glass. Trying to get a nice focus. There you go, look. So that's a bit different, isn't it? Five quid from M and SU online. I'm sure I don't know if they've got them in the shops yet. I was in Home Bargains recently and they've got uh, a load of tat. Christmas tat. But no, I, I, I did get rid of quite a few Christmassy bits. Was it the year before last or can't remember? Things I, I, I don't put up, you know. If they don't go up two years in a row, I think right, I'll give them to charity shop, which I have done. So, you know, I've obviously got the tree in my little white lit up village that I like. So, but if I wasn't, if I lived on my own and I wasn't doing social media and YouTube, I don't think I'd put the tree up. You know, it's such a faff. I just would have a few little, I'd have a little nativity scene and a few little bits, but I wouldn't bother with the tree. Um, so yeah, this is today. I'm trying to get stuff done up here. I must start bouncing on that. I bought that for health reasons and it's been bounced on about five minutes. So that needs bouncing on. Even three times a day for three minutes. That's all I need to do to start with. But I've no room, look. It's, I, I silly, foolishly bought the larger one. But I can fit it when everything's tidy. It does fit here. Eventually that TV is going. The TV and all this palaver. It's here for the moment because I'm using it to transfer, you know, all my vintage footage. So, um... I'll still have the speakers. Um, but my doodah will go here. I can have it here and I can do me bouncing. Look out the window. Uh, bouncy bounce. So I'll just, you know... I need to get on it. I'm, I, it's another thing I've bought that... I know it's really good for my health, one of these bouncy things. It's a proper bungee cord one too. You know, it's not one of those cheap Argos deals. It even has a bounce counter that you you attach to some part of your anatomy. I think it probably goes on your belt loop or your shorts or maybe your ear. You could clip that too, I don't know. Oh, so it's, it's all sorts, bits of Playmobil. I've got robot vacuums galore. Older machines here. A picture that needs to go up once I start, when I've decorated. Um, oh, I've got, see, I've, I've, I've got clean washing here and dirty washing building up there. And these speakers need to go in the study when that's properly tidied. It's not fully clear yet. I've got books I hardly look at. I mean, the Bible's next to my bed for protection against evil spirits. I, I think it works. But I've got uh, some Barbara O'Neill. Look up Barbara O'Neill if you're interested in um, natural health, if you're interested in getting rid of um, pharmaceutical products. Barbara O'Neill, she's all over the shop at the moment. So I bought her two books, Sustain Me and Self Heal by Design. I'm all for trying the natural alternative methods. I don't trust Big Pharma. I'm sure a lot of people don't anymore after the recent history. So, um, oh. And I've also got Stacy Solomon here telling me how to sort my life out. Again, I really should open that and look at it. And then another book about iodine. Iodine, iodine. The iodine crisis. What you don't know about iodine can wreck your life. So yes, most of you watching this is, are probably deficient in iodine, iodine. Oh. <sighs> Oh, I just want to sing along to this, to Johnny. Na, na. Oh, 
it's near the end of that. It's a good, it's a bait. Oh, it's a, it's all, look at the mess. Um, yeah, it's a nice record player, that. It's only cheap. Cheap, you know, not like, it's not a £30. Uh, that one I showed on my channel, that awful blue thing looked in a suitcase. They are absolute rubbish. This is by Project. So it's a basic. You see, it's so basic, it keeps going when it's finished. So I have to, um, let's turn it down first. I have to um, manually lift the thing off. And then do that. We'll see. Still, still keeps going <laughs> till I turn it off. I think I'll um, I'll listen to. No, anyway, I'm serious. If you like, I don't know. If you like music, if you like heavy metal and all the modern pap that's uh, available now in the in the in the hit parade, um, you might not like Johnny. But if you like really lovely songs. Um, beautiful music and he's got a, such a lovely voice I would I would start with this one and this is readily available you can go direct to his website and ring him up and order it uh, tell him Roger sent you Roger from Halifax sent me, sent me say that Roger from Halifax sent me is that Johnny is that really Johnny I don't think I don't I don't know if it was him for sure but I'm sure I'm fairly certain he just sounded so apathetic about me ordering <laughs> he's just you know he's the sort of person you get behind a till um a supermarket or in a shop who's just ugh, you know and i thought look i'm here ordering a load of your cds you could show a bit of enthusiasm but anyway i don't mind as long as i get them this is a good um a good introduction to johnny 30 songs two discs Hang on, let me just open up, open Johnny for you. So oh, there's one one of the discs I've just been playing, and there's the other one. So um, it's 30 songs that mean a lot to Johnny, and there's a little inlay doodah. So yes, if you like Barbara Dixon, if you like Clifford T. Ward, if you like easy listening, country folky type music, singer songwriter, you know John Denver. Um, you know, easy listening. He's such, such a great voice. He really has. So yeah, thirty songs. There, there he is. Um, she's a little bit grayer now, I think. Um, Red Sky Records in Stroud, Gloucestershire. He writes um, a lot of songs about Gloucestershire, and he he also takes poems as well, and puts his music to poems. So anyway. That's my recommendation today. This CD. Um, if you think you might like it, then well, try out. You can look at look look at the few things on YouTube. If you like any of those, this CD, excellent introduction. I don't get any uh, kickback or commission for recommending Johnny, but you might like him. You might like him. So this website is. Uh, johnnycoppin.com and you can see his uh, CDs here some aren't available but he should have most yes one of them I ordered I think Breaking the Silence 12.95 he thought it was 14 so he might have changed that to 14 but yes I'm you just ring up his number you just email I suppose you could email with your details or it says phone to save time um, or print out the order form and you can if you're watching outside the UK there is a worldwide orders phone number but yes you can get this on eBay and other places this is a good introduction if you like the songs on this then I think you'll like practically everything um, because I've only heard a few of his things and you know I've ordered six of his CDs I probably will end up buying all of them I ordered six of, well, I've got this and I've got another, his latest CD I bought from Bandcamp, which I could on, order online. And I've got a couple of his vinyl albums off um, the eBay. So folks, that's it. I thought I'd just give you a sort of a, a recent update. As I said, we just come back from uh, Whitby um, last week. Um, I've got a few things coming up for myself, trip to uh, London, um, down south, 
uh, other bits and thing bits and bobs and what have you you know it's uh it's thrilling thrilling it's thrilling stuff so yeah this is real you know oh i say it's just it's a mess it's a mess but um oh my poor arm anyway today the time of filming this you will be getting an, another installment of the as seen on tv series loads more of them coming and when those are finished there's more there's loads more footage just of me vlogging vlogging like no one's watching and vlogging long before youtube came along i was just vlogging just for the sake of doing it how was i to know that there would be an audience for this sort of stuff i don't know so um yeah i will um yeah you'll you'll be seeing these seen on tvs every tuesday for quite some time i've, I've done another load that are ready to go um i've got holiday videos i need to edit there'll be a few sort of unboxing vids um and just general you know what the sort of things you expect from this channel it's going to be more of the same so if you do enjoy this sort of stuff you know give us one of them consider clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon i'm not forcing you but it's up to you blimey this camera's heavy and I'll see you all again. But uh, yes, at the time of making the video, you'll see me again. Looking, well, the hair's starting to go in the in the video now. In my as seen on TV, it's it's starting. But I'm still looking relatively attractive in those videos. Anyway, ah, we all bright and gay. We don't want to bring people down. Wee, it's great. I've got such a lovely, lovely life. So I'm going to get my washing sorted, me dirty and me clean, clear my bed, try and sort out my bedroom a bit more so I can at least walk around it without falling over. And um, I'll catch you later, alligator, if you've watched to the very end. Oh, Daisy's barking. If you've watched to the very end, she knows it's midday, so they get a treat at midday. If you've watched to the very end, Please just comment Johnny and I'll know what you mean. So until the next video in my life, I'll see you all very soon.